In today's video, I'm going to show you my top 10 new features that are available on the S7 or the S7 Edge with the Android Oreo 8.0 update and Samsung Experience 9. Let's get started. Hey everybody, welcome to Tech with Brett, where I help tech work for you. Now, if you have a Samsung Galaxy S7 or S7 Edge, most likely you have received this Android Oreo update. So all the features that I'm going to show you today will work on the S7 Edge and the S7, except for the very last item will be on the S7 Edge and I'll talk about it when I get there. First, let's start off by going into the home screen updates. So the very first thing I wanna talk about is you can now swipe up to go right into your applications, which is really nice, so you no longer even need to press the apps button. So if you pinch and go to home screen settings, you can actually select apps button and you can completely remove that button. So once I hit apply, I go back to the home screen and now the apps button is gone. So I swipe up right to go to my apps. Then if we pinch, go to home screens, I have a few more options here. So this is where we can change our home screen layout. So now you could have it show no app drawer or you can have a home screen and then an app drawer there. Here you could change the dimensions of the home screen so you can have more applications on there at one time. And then here you could choose what the application drawer is going to show as well. Here we have app badges, I'll get to that in a minute. And then here we have add apps to home screen. So whenever you download a new app, it's gonna add it to the home screen, but I really like this option called quick open notification panel. So when you have that selected and you're on the home screen, if you swipe down, it will then pull down your notification panel very easily instead of getting to the very top and pulling down. So again, just swipe down, it goes right there. Then on the home screen here, you can see that when you pinch, you have the option to set this as the home button at the top, but you have a few more options here. So if I wanna organize my applications very quickly, I could press the top button here, and then it would align all of the items on that page to the top of the screen. So now they're at the top, or I can press this align at the bottom, select apply, and now it's going to move them all to the bottom. Number two is adding a video lock screen to your phone. So when you go into the wallpaper section, select search, and then just search for video. And then it will pop up a bunch of different videos that you could download to your phone. Many of them are free, many of them cost money, but you could actually use your own. So once you download them and apply them, they will show up on the lock screen, or you can actually go into your own gallery and take any video that you have recorded and select a menu here and you will see this set as wallpaper. So this can't be a GIF. And once you add this, even though it's a video with sound, it will not play any of the sound. So let me show you what this means. I select set as wallpaper. Now it has to be 15 seconds long. So this is asking me to trim it down. So now it has set to 15 seconds. It is then going to save the video. And then now that it has shrunk that video down, I select set as wallpaper. And then when I go to the lock screen of my phone, so this is the screen after I press the button, and now you can see that I have that video playing in the background, and it will just keep playing through until you unlock the phone. And so there is no sound, and again, it will not work with a GIF file, it has to be an actual video. So then you swipe and it goes right into your phone. So that's really cool, I have a full video all about how to do that. Update number three is app badge icon. So right here on my Google Voice app, you will see the number one. So it's gonna show you a little number wherever you receive a notification. So if we pinch and go back into the home screen settings, here you will see app icon badges. So if we tap right there, we can learn a bit more about it. So whenever you swipe away a notification at the top, it's actually going to remove those icons. So if we scroll down, we have a few options. You can have it show a number, or you can show without the number and it's just going to show a little icon there. I know a lot of people like to get rid of the number as soon as it pops up. So that little orange icon is pretty handy. And then here you can have it actually show notifications on the app. So if I long press on here, there it's showing me who the message was from and the message and I could swipe that away as well. Now, if you want to dive into more of the notifications, pull down the notification shade, 
select notification settings, and there you have that same option of the app icon badges. And here you can choose the applications that you are being notified from. I had a few people ask me, hey, why am I not getting message notifications? And we went in here and their message notification was turned off. So be careful what you turn on and off here. But for me, I'm gonna go through and turn off a lot of the apps that may be annoying me. You can quickly turn those off. And then you could actually go into the advanced settings and see a few more options per app and adjust them right here. So sometimes maybe you have some sensitive information that is coming through. You can actually have it not show content. So you could hide content or do not show any notifications, or you could turn off app icon badges or turn off the sound for specific applications. Item number four is lock screen settings. So if we go into the settings of the phone, go down here to lock screen and security, and then here on notifications, we have a few different options. So right here, we can choose to have it hide content. So it's not gonna actually show the message. Here you could have it show the message icon only. And then here you have the option to change the transparency. So I could have it show that white box behind it, or we could have the white box completely removed and there it changes the text. So depending on what kind of wallpaper you have, you may wanna come in here and adjust those settings. And then here you have the auto reverse color text. So maybe whatever theme you have, it's showing the wrong color. This is where you could change that. And then here you have a few advanced features where you can have it show certain notifications. And then here you can have it show on the lock screen, always on display or just the always on display. Now that brings me into my Tip number five is the always on display. So right here, the always on display is what is showing when your screen is not on. So right here, this is the always on display. If it's in your pocket, it will actually be turned off, but when it's just sitting out on the counter, you can quickly see the time. If you wanna interact with an app, you just double tap and it will take you into that application. And you've seen this before on your phone, but a few of the updates is you have a lot more options that you can choose. So here we went into the always on display settings and then it says, check out these settings. This is the actual always on display settings. So now you can adjust which always on display feature you want there. Down here, we do have a color option. So if I wanted to change the color of the text, let's go back to the main one. So you can see the difference there. So we have a few different colors that we can choose here, multicolors and all of that. Then you also have the option to change the lock screen little icon there. So if you wanted it to be a long time or a big hour time, you have all of those options, new clocks and a bunch there. One more thing I wanna show you in the AOD is here at the end, you have the picture option where you could actually select the plus and then you can choose your own pictures but then here you have an option to add a GIF. So it has already a bunch of GIFs that you can use. So we can open that up and you would have that GIF play on your lock screen. Here you have a calendar, dual clock where you can add the city. You have the time over here on the side. And then here you have a theme option where you could go and download more faces on the AOD with a Samsung theme. And so that is the main settings on the always on display. The last part of the always on display is here. When you double tap, you now have the option to do a few different things. So here it will tell you how to use this. You can go into the different notifications. Here you can actually change music that's playing just by tapping on the clock twice and then clicking the arrow. So you'll see those other options show up there. And in the menu of the phone, you can change more of that stuff. Now next we have a new option called App Pair. So App Pair has to do with multi-window where you have two applications on the screen at once, but this is how you can actually have two of them at one time paired together to instantly open at once. So if we go into the edge panel, so you can barely see it right here, but it's on the side, and then we click new app, and here we have the option to create an app pair. So some of the app pairs that I like to use is maybe I am browsing on YouTube, and then I want to be browsing through Facebook or maybe navigating with maps. So there I can choose the two different apps. I could switch which one is on the top, and then I select done, 
And now it has created this app pair right there on the edge. So if I go back, I select the app pair, it instantly opens YouTube and it opens Google Maps at the same time. So that's one way to create the app pair. The other way is to open two different apps. And then here I'm going to press the multi-window button and I'm gonna choose another application that I want to use. Sure, let's choose gallery. And now here in the middle, if I press the little menu, I have that plus. And when I select the plus, it created that app pair and added it right to the home screen of my phone. So if we go, I can click and drag this wherever I want. And then I open that up and it will instantly open my message app and my gallery. So app pair is a pretty cool new feature. With that, you also have the option to quickly adjust the edge on your phone. So if I just hold down on the edge, I can then move it up and down very quickly or move it to the other side of the screen. So if you want to move it out of the way, maybe you keep swiping it, you can move it up there so it's out of the way. Number seven is picture in picture. So with the Android Oreo update, now in certain applications, it will pop up a little screen on your phone. So let's say I want to navigate somewhere. All right, so now that I am navigating, if I press the home button, it will then minimize my Google Maps application down here so that I can actually keep using my phone and navigate at the same time. So it will show me where I need to turn and everything right here. And you can move it around. If you tap, you have the option to make it full screen or click the X. And then it said, if I swipe down, you can just swipe it away. So that's one app that can do it. The other app is YouTube. So if I'm watching a YouTube video and I press home, it will do the same thing where it minimizes the application down here. And then you can make it full screen or you could close it there again. So let's try that. I'm gonna click play. I'm gonna hit home. Here it has minimized that application, the YouTube. I can pause, skip to the next one. If you have YouTube Red, it will give you a little microphone option so you could actually keep listening without watching. And then here I'm gonna close it down. So I really like picture in picture, makes it so you can multitask much easier on your phone. The next feature is autofill. So if we go into the settings of the phone here and we are just going to search for autofill, there are different applications that will allow you to save usernames and passwords to your apps. So right here we have the option called Samsung Pass. So Samsung Pass is an app that you can sign up for with your Samsung account. And whenever you sign into an app, it will actually save that information locked into your Samsung account with either a fingerprint or your face unlock, and it will save those passwords. So whenever you get a new phone, you could instantly look at the Samsung Pass application and you could see that info and then sign in. And it will also help you sign in on new applications as well if you've already set up Samsung Pass on that phone. The ninth new update is in your messaging app or in the keyboard where you can actually send GIF files. So here you can see the new GIF option. You select GIF and then it will show all these little GIFs that you can use. And you can choose different uh, emotions down here and then you just select that and it will add it into your text message thread and you can select send. You no longer have to download Android messages and then the Gboard application to be able to send GIFs through your phone, which is pretty awesome. So that's a new update. You do have a few other options here where you can go to predictive text or if you drop down, you can see all the different settings. Maybe you want one-handed operation or clipboard. You can actually just drag this up and then it will move it there. Now in the settings of the keyboard, you do now have the option to use the high contrast keyboard. So this is an accessibility option where it will brighten up the keyboard here. So it's much easier to see in the dark. And then you have some other settings, which most of them have been here before, but you can go through and check those out. Now the last feature that is unique to the Galaxy S7 Edge. So previously, if you were using the contacts option over here on the side, you knew that whenever you received a phone call from one of those contacts and your phone was face down, you would see the lights on the side of the phone. Well, that feature is no longer available. It is now changed to edge lighting. So if we go into here to the settings of the phone 
and we go to display, you will see this option called edge screen. So with the edge screen, you have the panels, you have the edge feeds, but you have the new edge lighting option. So edge lighting is a way in which it will notify you of your notifications. So if I click basic edge lighting here, you can see what it looks like where it's popping up the notification and then showing a light around the outside illuminating the phone. So here we can go and change the width. I like to add my width to 100%. I like to make sure my transparency is on low. And if I choose like a bright green here, you'll really be able to see the edge lighting function. And then here under effect, you can choose the different effects. So this one's different color. This one's the glow. This one's the glitter. And I like to use the basic. Uh, one last thing is that if you tap the screen while you are going through and choosing those, you can see what color it would be. And then here you have under color, instead of just choosing one color for all the apps, you can go under the app color. So each application you have enabled for edge lighting will show a specific app color. So messages is going to show that icon and to add more apps under edge lighting, we need to select apply. So I'm gonna choose this green color and then I'm going to select apply. And then down here we have the manage notifications. So to add different apps to edge lighting, we would just need to come in here and turn those on. Now I do wanna mention there are certain applications that will not work. Gmail does not show the edge lighting notifications. Also, if you're using Facebook Messenger and WhatsApp, most of the time does not show any of those unless you go into the settings and you enable pop-up notifications, which even when your phone is on, you'll see the pop-up on screen. So many people don't like that. So there's really nothing else we can do. So now once you have that enabled, this is what your notifications will look like. So there you can see it showed the message notification and the message right there and it did the illuminating around the outside. Now you can't change how long that is. It just pops up really quick. And then if your screen is off, it is supposed to show that same edge lighting notification pop up, but for whatever reason, I could not get it to work on this Sprint version of the Galaxy S7 Edge. I tried many different applications and it would not work. Some people have said it had to do with the always on display. I turned that off, still had no success. So if anyone has figured out how to fix that, let me know in the comments below. That's been asked a lot on this channel and I'm still figuring out what is causing it to not work. Also make sure that you have the setting set to always on instead of only when the screen is on or only when the screen is off, that will give you the best experience. And those are my top 10 new features with the Oreo update on your S7 or S7 Edge. If you guys have any further questions, please let me know in the comments below. And if I missed any of your favorite things, let me know as well. If this is your first time here, I would love to have you subscribe so that you can be notified of my new and upcoming videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.